I'm ready, you? Super ready, let's do, you, do it. Do you think you have enough horsepowers? I think so. We will see. In the last episode, we heard one of the most recognizable sounds in the world. Wait, wait. I know this sound. Don't do anything just yet. I think that's a challenge. I'll play it for you again. So let's do some reverse engineering. The Julia's engine is 2.9. We divide it by 6, that is the number of cylinders. We multiply for 8. What do we have? ta -da! The original F154 P-Turbo V8 engine, mounted on the stunning Ferrari Portofino. To see the on-the-road challenge between the Giulia and this masterpiece, keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Tuners. Ask a child to draw a car, he will definitely make it red. That's another quote from Enzo Ferrari. He drew few red cars himself. As we were talking about Gran Turismo cars and we spoke about the F154 engine of the Giulias, we are very proud to present this Italian masterpiece that mounts the original F154. It's a V8 and it's B Turbo. She is the most powerful car with the retractable hardtop the money can buy. So that's a 3855cc with 600 horsepower, 760 newton per meter at 7500 rpm. I don't think that our baby has uh, much of a chance. This one is a powerful car, but we will see. She's got a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission with a brand new software that guarantees super-fast gear shift. It's like an F1. The exhaust system has been tweaked to give the car the proper sound while maintaining its Grand Tour nature. It features an electric bypass valve that changes the sound depending on the driving condition. It is impressive how easy it is to drive this car down the road. But when you want to go fast, you just start it up to sport mode and get everything she was designed to do. In sport mode, the suspension would get lower, stiffer, and the gear change will be even faster. Press the launch mode for a brilliant start to use all the horses on the tarmac. They tell us that she reached 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds and has a top speed of 320 km per hour. But today we have the right tool to fact check this info. Let me just talk a bit more about this car before getting into action. The chassis is made of 12 different aluminium alloys melted into one piece. The hollow casting allows an increased structural rigidity of over 35% in comparison with its predecessor, the California Turbo. Ferrari engineers managed to shave quite a bit of weight, resulting in a weight that is very similar to the Giulia. That's something around 1,700 kilos. The Portofino features magnetic active suspension, a carryover from the California, but with an improved software to maintain good ride quality. Both the suspension system and the steering become increasingly responsive in sport mode. It can also switch between coupe and cabrio in just a matter of seconds.
Okay, enough with the talk. Now we will mount the dyno rod on it and get it tested. We have a special guest here that will do it for us. I think you know him. I guess now it's time to have some fun. Let's race. Anybody ready? I'm ready, you? Super ready, let's you, do it. You think you have enough horsepower? I think so. We'll see. Io prima faccio così e voi fate bram! Che bello, faccio così e voi siete che ci casate. E no, perché noi dobbiamo stare con launch, devi dare una volta il gas. Va bene. Tu alzi le mani, noi ti... E poi tutto... This time you won, only because I have a light stage one and I missed the third gear. I'm not Lewis. You got a, like a Formula One gearbox in there and 600 horsepower. Uh, that's all excuses I'm hearing about. <laughs> but yeah, no worries. I can give you a second chance if you will. We are ready to pump it up and do it again. Great, I'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> 